Okay, so this is the last portion of the exponential and logarithmic functions um, set of problems. We have logarithmic functions, and most of the time, we, yeah, all the time, we'll give you these functions. You just need to know how to work the input and the output and answer your questions. So let's just go through these examples. Um, so a human memory model is used to determine the percentage, P of T, of information that students remember T months after the completion of the course. For a specific psychology course, students followed the model P of T equals, so let's write this P of T over here, negative 2.5 natural log of T minus 4 plus 65. So this is 2.5, negative 2.5 times the natural log of T minus 4 plus 65. If you want to get these right and you struggle sometimes, just take your time, write down your math English dictionary. So T is in months and it's your input based on where it's located inside that function. And if you know the months, you will know P, which is the percentage that of information that students remember. So we have that, now we can answer these questions. Question one, what percentage of material did students remember after five months? So you're given months, you're given T. So that means you just put five in to the function. And you can let the calculator do the arithmetic. number 65 and so don't forget P is the percentage that so this is 65 percent of the info they retained. Question B how many months after the semester did students still remember 60 percent of the material from the course? So we're looking for T and we're given P of T. Now would you change that to a decimal? Nope because you define P to be the percentage. So we're going to put 60 in for P of T and we have to solve for T. So this is harder. Do you remember how to do this? Well, let's get natural log of T minus 4 by itself. So we have to get rid of this 65 by subtracting 65 and then divide by negative 2.5. So we can get this problem a little more simplified by just doing typical algebra. And that would be positive two equal natural log of t minus four. Okay, so now we have to go back and remember how to solve a log equation. And the base is e. We have a log on the one side and no log on the other. Do you remember how to do that? You have to rewrite it in exponential form. It's really tricky to remember that. So you have to practice this a lot. So it comes to you. So e to the 2 equals t minus 4. Simply add 4 to both sides. And so t equals whatever e to the 2 plus 4 is. eleven point three nine then you look at your math English dictionary eleven point three nine months all right the next two are called logistic functions um, number one says suppose a renewable population grows logistically and so just in general, a logistic function looks like this. I, I like them. They're, they look exponential at first, and then they level off. Um, and so we want to write our math English dictionary. T is my input, and it's in years. N is my output, and N is in thousands, so number of organisms times a thousand. So inside the function we're going to have a small number and then when we're interpreting we'll multiply by a thousand. 
Okay, so the first question is what is the initial population? So what is the initial number of organisms? Initial means when t is zero, how many, how, what's n? So initial means let t equal zero. So we can simply do that and use our calculator. So n equals 778 over 1 plus 5e to the negative 0.02 times zero. Now I don't really need my calculator, but I'm, I'll of course you could do it because I know that 0 times negative 0.02 is 0. I know that e to the 0 is 1. I know that 5 times 1 is 5 and 1 plus 5 is 6 and 778 divided by 6 would be my answer. So I can do that without the calculator but of course you can use the calculator so we'll do that 1 plus 5e to the negative 0.02 times 0. and you get 129.67. Now, we have to interpret this. I'm going to do 667 because remember inside the function um, number of organisms is divided by 1,000. When you want to interpret this, you're going to have to times it by 1,000 or write the word 1,000 out. So I'm going to just do that and get 129,666.67 organisms. So you could say 129.667 thousand organisms or you could actually multiply it out. But that's how you deal with this. It's in thousands. What is the population at 10 years? Well that means we're just going to put 10 in for T. I'm just going to paste that into this where we already did it. So I'm going to come up here and get this. And then instead of 0 here, I put 10 times 1,000. Okay, so n of 10 is 152.739, which is 152,739.02. Organisms after 10 years. Now, this is not a question, but I could ask after many, many, many years, what's n? So um, I could just put in, let's grab this again. I could see what's happening after many, many years. So if I put This large number here. You can see it's going to level off at 778. That's that top number. That's always what's going to happen with logistic functions. There's a there's a limiting value for a logistic function. So that would be 778,000 organisms is your leveling off value. Okay, C says what is the arc between one year and eight years and interpret. So basically this is a review question. So we need to find out the ordered pairs. We need to find out the y-coordinate partners for 1 and 8. So I keep coming up here and I'll delete this and make this 1. And when n is, uh, t is 1, n is 131.84 thousand. I'm not going to write that down. I'll interpret it in a minute and then change that to 8 and get 147.89. Okay, now how do you find the arc? Well, arc formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 would be 147.89, y1 would be 131.84, x2 is 8 x1 is 1. All right, and I'm just going to use a decimal answer. So I'm not using that horizontal division bar, so notice that I'm putting parentheses around my numerator and denominator. 
and I get 2.29. Okay, now remember from Math English Dictionary is way up here. Arc the interpret the units are always y units. So right here, y units per x unit. So y units are number of organisms times a thousand. So this is 2.29 thousand organisms per y unit per x unit per year. So that's the unit. Okay, so in interp interpret, remember we do a between, between one and eight years. The, not arc, what is it? Number of organisms increased by, since it's positive, 2.29 thousand organisms. Some people stop there and I have to write per year. That was your average rate of change. And then if you can remember put on average, I don't ever count off if you forget that. All right, last one. Suppose magazine sales follow the following logistic model where T is in months. T is months, that's my input. N is number of magazines sold. Okay, how do you find the initial sales? That's right, you put zero in for T. So that's 800 over 1 plus 3E to the negative 0.058 times zero. If you do this a few times, you know what's going to happen without a calculator is that's going to be zero. E to the zero is one. Three times one is three, so that's four. And that gives you uh, 800 divided by 4 um, is 200. 200 what? Magazines. Sold. You always have to put your units. What's the sales level at 10 months? That means you're going to put 10 in for T. I'll use the horizontal bar this time, 800 divided by 1 plus 3e to the negative 0.058 times 10 is 298.54 magazines. All right, and again, you can practice this if you want. Find the arc between month 10 in month 15, you have to find your y coordinates first. So we've already got month 10, 298.54. Let's go grab this. And that's 354.48. And arc is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the arc is, time I am going to do the horizontal bar. eleven point one eight eight okay what are the units on this y units per x unit so that's eleven point one eight magazines per month write out the arc pause the video make sure you can do it between ten and fifteen months the Number of magazines sold increased on average by 11.188 magazines per month. That's that.